welcome back to my channel. My name is Lola and you are watching Sweet Snakes YouTube channel. Today you guys are going to get to meet all of my animals. I do want to address one thing though. I chopped my hair. It is gone. Does it look a little bit like Edna from The Incredibles? Absolutely. But I just need to explain that real quick. And if it really wasn't the look I was going for. But let's get into the video today. I am really excited to show you all of my animals. Let's go. We are going to start with our four-legged reptiles at um, Sweet Snakes. We only have one. Um, snakes are really my passion, but I recently got this beautiful boy. This is Short Rib. He is a yellow Dalmatian crested gecko. He is about two years old, and he came from a wonderful breeder in New Jersey. Um, I have not had him for two years. I bought him when he was about two, uh, quite recently actually, maybe month or two ago and he is just adorable he's gonna probably be an icon um, but he you might realize does not have a tail he did drop his tail earlier in his life and uh, with crested geckos unlike a lot of other geckos when they drop their tail they don't grow it back unfortunately so he will have a nub tail for the rest of his life but he uh, doesn't slow him down it doesn't affect anything it doesn't affect their breathing it doesn't affect any of their living he is perfectly fine and yeah, Short Rib is a really cute little man. Our next animal is a snake friend of ours. I do want to make it aware, though, that I am washing my hands in between animals. I just figured if I filmed that, this video would be long, so I don't. But our next animal is Dumpling. Wow, that's really bright. You can't even see the colors. But Dumpling is a gorgeous, uh, about two-year-old albino plains hog nose. Um, now, she is an albino hexanthic, which makes you very pretty, um, but she, hog noses are known for their pig nose, so I just kind of just not want to focus on her at all, but she is gorgeous. She, you might know she is a little bit smaller for a yearling two years, I'm not quite sure what her hatch date was. Um, that's just because for a while she was really a picky eater, she came to me eating uh, frozen thawed and then she kind of stopped we asked the breeder she was like it's probably due to her thinking that she needs to go into brumation and if you didn't know what brumation is it is basically hibernating it's during the cold months their metabolism slows down very much and they just kind of don't eat so that's just how it was but dumpling is no longer confused and she now eats like a champ for me she um i've had her for about a year now but she is just one of the friendliest hognose snakes I've ever met. When she was a baby, she was so sassy. Like, she would not, like, she had to hiss at every object around her. She used to hiss at her water bowl when I would refill it. But now she's super handleable and super friendly. Yeah, aren't you? Okay, let's get on to the next animal. Now, our next animal is another snake friend. I'm not going to get excited. There we go. Okay, this is Sugar Pie. Sugar Pie was my first ever snake. I got her way back um, in about the summer of third grade, not really the summer, but in between third and fourth grade, and she is just the best snake. She's the most handleable and the sweetest corn snake you'll ever meet. She is an ultra anorary corn snake. Um, she's about four or five years old. I'm really sorry I don't have my hatch dates with me. I have them written down, but she's about four five years old i've had her for almost her entire life i got her when she was only a couple months old and she is so pretty and she's just gorgeous she's so friendly she's eating frozen thawed rodents for me like a champ i forgot to mention dumpling my hog nose is also eating frozen thawed rodents for me but look at you you're so cute i know um like i said she's just the friendliest corn snake you'll ever meet now, she also is a pretty good size for her age. Um, like I said, she might be a little smaller because she just wasn't a great eater for the breeder. Um, and she never has refused to meal with me, I can tell you that. She has been one of the best eating corn snakes because she's never refused a meal. She's friendly inside her shed, she's never snippy, and she's actually like never bit me. Well, that's not true, she bit me once. But that was my fault. It's most of the time always the caretaker's fault because snakes don't bite out of aggression. They bite out of fear or out of defense. Or maybe they're just hungry. I don't know. But yeah, 
that is Sugar Pie, and she actually lives up here. You can't really see her house up there. That's where she lives. She lives in that upper cage. Um, but yeah, so Sugar Pie is an awesome snake, and let's get on to the next one. My next animal, I'm actually not going to take out to show you. I'm sorry, I know, I know. But this one has a bit of an attitude, and let me explain that. So if you watched my Welcome to my channel video, I you may have heard me refer to a first wave tossing pet named Jelly. Now Jelly is a beautiful snow tester corn snake. He is just amazing. He um, was with my first grade teacher for as long as I can remember. She loves him and she really took care of him so well. He is in this awesome tank, and yes, I have Jelly right now. You see, my first grade class pet, Jelly, um, was a really big ambassador animal for me. It got me into the hobby, and um, my first grade teacher, due to some like, very unfortunate circumstances, wasn't able to take care of him, so I wound up with him early in 2021, and I have uh, he's been with me ever since. He probably, most likely, will be with me permanently um, because when she is able to go back to teaching, she will take him back. But I'm not going to hold Jelly today because he has a bit of an attitude. You see, during that year length of time when he was still with my first grade teacher, she really just wasn't able to handle him. I mean, she was able to give him food and water, but due to those um, very unfortunate circumstances, she was not able to handle him as much as she would have liked her to. So he has a bit of an attitude, and I would hold him. I just don't feel like giving him fit and going to school with little pinholes in my hand. Like I say, snakes don't bite out of aggressiveness. They bite out of simply fear and sometimes when they're hungry. And Jelly, um, <laughs> he escaped for two years, so he will take any meal he can get because he kind of, I feel as if it was ingrained in him that, okay, there's a meal, I should take it because it might be the only one I can get in a while when he was out in the wild. Um, they found him, though, and we know it was Jelly because where I live, there are no purplish-white snakes where I live, so we just kind of easily tell it's Jelly. Um, but yeah, so I will show you him from the uh, from looking at him. Let's just, I'll show you him just using our eyes. Yeah, Jelly loves in this awesome enclosure. Um, but yeah, I'll get him out. No, get back here. Jelly is speeding away. Oh, there he is. Hi, handsome. You might be able to see him. Let's kind of stalk him. I know you haven't seen a camera before. It's weird, isn't it? Um, but I'll take that out later. There's Jelly right there. Like I said, he has a bit of an attitude, but he can't help it. It was just... It's kind of been ingrained in him. Yeah, you're very handsome, though. He is quite confused. Yes, know what this camera is. I don't know the exact age of Jelly. I know he was nine. At some point, I remember knowing he was nine, but he is a very big boy. He is full grown, and you can't see his whole body. One day, one day I will take him out, I promise, but he is right now is not going to get taken out, but he's a very cutie patootie. You are cute. You just, you just like food a lot. I'm going to take out this little food dish because I can't feed him with the tongs because he attacks the tongs. But he thinks they are food. Was all of my animals? Wait, no, it wasn't all my animals. This is my other animal. This is Ditto. Actually, you know, I'm sorry, so I focus that. This is Ditto. He is a our 13 year old Hungarian Vishla. They are bird dogs. They are amazing bird dogs. We actually never use them to hunt, but he's just so stinking sweet. I know, baby. So he is 13, so he's very up there in age. For Vishla, their lifespan is about 12 years old, but. You are still kicking, and you are kicking good. If you see, you might see these little bumps. Um, don't be alarmed. These are lipomas. They're basically just fatty tumors. Um, our vet has told us, honestly, so many surgeries would be needed in order to take them all off, and he said they're not harming him in any way. They're just like fatty lumps. Um, this, if you can see that, that is another just fatty lump that is actually not covered by hair at all. But, like I said, they don't bother him at all. He is still able to kind of just live his life. Due to old age, he is developing some pretty bad cataracts. You can't really see them right now, but he's developing some cataracts. And he's also losing his hearing a little bit. But we love him very much. And he's been with us longer than I've been alive, actually. So he's been with my parents for a very long time. He's a very sweet, sweet boy. Okay, my 
camera will die soon. But that was all of my animals in a nutshell. Um, I am planning on doing individual videos, all of all of them, to kind of tell you everything about that animal. I'm also going to do. <coughs> I can't talk. Give me a minute to compose myself. I am going to be doing in-depth cage tours so you can see their amazing living quarters. Um, this is the only one you can see in my videos. This is jelly and then sugar pie above. But I'll give you a whole cage tour and I'm also going to be doing care videos on the animals. I have a lot of really fun videos planned. When the weather warms up, I want to go outside and bring you guys herping with me. Um, which if you don't know what herping is, it is climbing up tiles and they being stung for a while. But that is all for today. Please, please, please make sure you subscribe if you want to see more fun videos like this. And hit the notification bell so you are notified each time I post a video so you do not miss out on adorable animal content. Shorter would be a little disappointed in you, wouldn't you? Yeah, he's giving us the stink eye right now. You can't even see him, but he's, he's giving us the stink eye. Actually, I'll show you. Shorter would be very mad if you missed cute animal content, wouldn't you? Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, all those fun buttons. And I will see you on the next time. Goodbye. Bye.